on this episode. If elves can do it, yeah. I can do it. <laughs> Scott's here today to help us trim the feet of a reindeer. It's Rudolph. What have I got to worry about? <laughs> These reindeer are fast. <laughs> got him! What? Come on, Sven. <laughs> now I know how Santa feels. It's so exhausting. <laughs> But first... They all look horrific, don't they? Their fur is in patches and tatty or even non-existent. Oh my God. This poor thing, what wow. happened to her? Hi, sweetheart. Yeah. We have virtually no history on this dog whatsoever, so we have to piece it together ourselves. So you're going to do a full exam for me, tell me all the issues that you find and how best we're going to treat them. So I've just had a call from Sonia, who's one of the incredible people that work for one of my favourite charities, All Dogs Matter. They help to rescue and rehome abandoned dogs here in London. And they've just let me know of four dogs that have just come into their shelter that are in a really terrible state. Hi Scott, how are you? Yeah, I'm good, how are you? I'm good. Thank you. So here you've got a full house, four yes, dogs? Yes, we've got four little dogs. We've wow. got two Pomeranians, we've got Dalmatian, wow. and we've got Jack Russell. All with really bad skin conditions, so okay. if you could have a look at them all. Absolutely, lead the way. Hello. Hello, you four. Oh, you're a motley crew. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Hi, baby. Hello, you. So they were all found together. Right. They were found in a lady's garden. My first impressions are these dogs are clearly neglected. They're just in an awful way. They're all quite thin, but what really strikes me is that they've all got skin problems and there's masses of hair lost. They all look horrific, don't they? Their fur is in patches and tatty or even non-existent. I'm a little bit worried about this little pom though. I do think we need to have a little look at her and see what's, see what's going on. Thank you. Come on. Hello. Hello, everyone. It was very clear from the get-go that the Pomeranian was the one that was struggling the most. Hello, you. Can I see you? She's the one that's lost the most amount of fur. She looks in the worst condition. She's very thin. She's struggling. You can see, well, clearly the biggest problem here is her skin and the complete lack of hair. So this has been going on for a while. She's lost a huge amount of fur as a result. Who would let their dog turn into this. Into I mean, it's state. disgusting. It really shocks me to the core and to see a Pomeranian look like that, I just don't know how the people here do it and I don't know how their hearts don't break every day. She's also coming pregnant. Oh, you're joking. So, yes. And what happened to the puppy? The puppy didn't survive. The puppy wasn't even, it wasn't even a proper pup, so it wasn't even fully formed. And so, Sickening, yeah. isn't it? really upsets you, doesn't it, yeah. to see this? It's heartbreaking. Everyone gets, everyone gets upset. You can't help it. You wouldn't be human if you didn't get upset about something like that. Sorry. You're OK. We're going to sort you out. Hey, don't we? we sort you out. Hey. It's all right. Oh, hello. Hello. Mm. Hey, wow, hello. they're affectionate little ones, aren't they? It's incredible, isn't it, for four dogs that have Ooh. suffered so badly. They're very sweet and kind and nature. And still trusting. All right, well, what I think we need to do is all these guys look like their conditions are quite manageable, but this little one clearly needs my help. You sort of really wonder how and why this happens. Just so patchy, aren't you, sweetie? Gosh, look at that. It's non-existent coat, eh? eh? There's more skin than coat there, isn't there? Eh, there's little bandy legs are shown off by the fact you've got no fur on them. So you can see the amount of fur that she should have mm -hmm. in this patch there. Is this new fur that's coming through, do you mm, think? It could or is well this... be. I mean, it depends what the cause of the hair loss is. Will she get her fur back? I don't think she's lost fur for no reason. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure we're going to find a reason here. Uh, and I think that reason could be anything from mange mites to hormonal conditions. Right. So I think okay. what we need to do is 
take it to the practice mm -hmm. and then just get to grips with what exactly is going on. So you're going to go with Scott, he's going to take care of you and you're going to come back. Well, you're going to find your referrer ever home and you're going to be his stunner. Just going to be a beautiful little girl. Yeah. You are so lovely. Rest. What are we going to call this little lady? What do you think? I don't know, she's very tiny. She's so yeah. petite. Yeah. She's going to be beautiful. I reckon. Yeah. What are you Maybe thinking? Maybe we could call her Kylie? Kylie! Ooh, nice Aussie name. I like yeah. it. Yeah. I thought you might like that one. I do. No, who, who can't like Kylie? Hey. Oh, gee yeah. whiz. You wish you'd be as good looking as Kylie. Yeah. Hey. Well, let's see what it's I can do. It's something to aspire to, isn't it? It is. It is. I'm not a miracle worker, but I'll try my best. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Kylie. I like it. I think it. she's got potential. It's a hell of a namesake. Hey, it's a lot to live oh. up to. Well, she is so tiny and she's just yeah. gorgeous petite, isn't she? She is. She, is. she should have a lovely little pretty name and yeah. You've certainly got a perfect personality, eh? Hasn't she? Yeah. The sweetest little girl. Alright then, cutie. Hey, do you want a little trip to Richmond? She's hey. really stolen my heart, this yeah, little one. She Say goodbye Aww. to Sonia. Bye hey. bye, darling. We all get quite attached to the dogs down here. Hey. We might only spend a few days with them, but we you know, we love them all, as if they're our own, really. Okay. I never understand how people can be cruel to animals. They're defenceless, innocent creatures. Why would you be mean to them? Why would you hurt them or neglect them? I just don't get it. Everyone. Hi. 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 Oh my God, who's this? <laughs> wow. I've just taken Carly back to the practice, and understandably, people are a little taken aback. She's a very friendly, sweet-natured dog, but wow, she makes a first impression. What's the matter with her? Well, it's a it's a long list of ailments that little Carly's got going on. I'm afraid. It's so sad. You're in good hands now, little one. Well, look at that little two. <laughs> Carly's not the only special guest that we've got at the practice today. We've also got our new vet graduate starting as well. Riaz, fresh out of vet school, he only graduated yesterday, and it'll be very interesting to see how he gets on. Hey, Riaz. Hey, Scott. How you doing, mate? I'm good, mate. How good are you? Good to see you again. Congrats on the graduation. Oh, cheers, How'd it go? Oh, mate, it's amazing. Yeah? Five years, finally there. So, and here's our consult room. Oh, and it's Emma. Hi. Hello. This is our head nurse, Hi, Emma. Emma. Hi. Nice Rias. to meet you. Nice to meet you. Rias, How are you doing? Grads, fresh off the press. <laughs> How fresh are we talking? Oh, too fresh. Yeah, as in like a day fresh. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Like yesterday. I'm glad the first person you met at the practice is our head nurse because I would say, as a new grad, the person that you want to be besties with yeah. is definitely the head nurse. So, head vet, but you call the shots. Yes. Pretty much. Yes, I do. <laughs> yeah. I'm glad we've established this hierarchy on day one. Get it right from the offset. From the very beginning. So, Brilliant. you, scrubs, you downstairs, and I'll bring the dog. I thought today that Carly would really help to flex Riaz's veterinary muscles. So guys, meet Kylie. Oh my God. A baptism of fire to try and understand everything that's going wrong with this dog and what we can do to help her. This poor thing, what wow. happened to her? Hi, sweetheart. Yeah. Well, um, we have virtually no history on this dog whatsoever, so we have to piece it together ourselves. So you're gonna do a full exam for me, tell me all the issues that you find okay. and how best we're gonna treat them. Right, well, let's get started then. Look how much hair she's lost. You can see right through to her skin and you shouldn't really be able to do that at all. When Scott told me there was no history, it was literally like a nightmare. I was like, oh, can't I just have an easy vaccination or something to do? But I'm happy to, to do that, so bring it on. We're gonna start at the front of you, little girl, and work our way back, eh? Here, a little look inside. Oh, darling, you're missing quite a few teeth as well, aren't you? Oh. Skin's quite darker as well in patches. Yeah. She must be really itchy. This is clearly something which has, you know, not happened overnight. Checking these ears of yours. Oh, you've been scratching these ears a little bit, have you? 
a glamorous job of smelling dogs' ears as well. I was about to say, is this a diagnostic tool they teach you in veterinary school? It's one I've picked or? up myself. Nice. It's, 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 nice. It's, actually, it's actually something I enjoy. <laughs> Just have a quick little listen to her. Let's go down. Okay, that sounds fine on that side. My professor at university would be very annoyed if I didn't listen from both sides. <laughs> <laughs> I hope he's watching. No, no, I've never seen anything like Kylie. I think she's the first and hopefully the last time I ever see anything like that. I mean, just looking at her tummy and her mammary glands here, oh, she's clearly had puppies. Well, well you'll be horrified to know that yeah. just two days ago she uh, had a stillbirth at the kennels. She didn't, okay. Yeah, well, everything oh. you've been through. Mm -mm. Yeah. It's not fair, is it? When I heard that she lost a puppy, I I lost it myself. I broke down. I don't know if it's a maternal feeling, woman to woman, but the thought of losing your baby in a stillbirth, um, just, it just made me feel for her. It's just not fair. So, Dr. Riaz, what do you think? I think what we should find out first is the skin problem, whether it is a simple skin problem, whether it's just a parasite or something like that, or there's an underlying cause, perhaps. I think we should start with some skin scrapes. Good, you've done this before? Yes, in training. Scraping the skin with a scalpel blade, it's not nice. But what we're trying to do is to try and pick up any evidence of mites. Lovely, that's great, good work. Good job, good girl, honey. There's a couple of different types of mites that could potentially cause the amount of hair loss that we've seen in Kylie. And then we look under a microscope and see if we can see any of these little things. Where are you, little blighters? They are in here somewhere. So guys, um, no mites found on this microscope slide. So what are we gonna think about that? The fact that we haven't found it doesn't rule it out. So I think what we should do in the meantime is start treating for the mites and perhaps run an additional test to confirm the presence of it, something like a blood test. Sounds good. It seems to us that the biggest likelihood is that Kylie is suffering with mange. And the best way to kill off a mange mite is by giving the dog a bath and start helping Kylie to recover and grow that fur back. Now you've got to give a dog a bath. Um, a very technical job. <laughs> I'm very qualified for it, let's do it. Riaz has done extremely well working up this patient. He has good understanding of the types of conditions that could lead to this poor little dog's problems and then the best way to treat it. We don't know yet if we're treating for which type of mange, so we're just going to hit it hard. Let's go. So we're just going to not get her face too much. This bath is not the nicest thing. We're dressed up in masks and gloves because it's pretty strong stuff. And poor girl, it's just stood there taking it. So what we'll do with the rest of it is just sponge it on a little bit. You get free tummy rubs, hey? <laughs> hey, gorgeous. So I think the important thing with this is that we just get a good coverage. The way this works is it will kill the bugs from the outside and hopefully make her feel a lot less itchy and she can start to grow some of this hair back. Absolutely. I can't wait to see her full of hair again. I know. If it is just some bugs on the surface, then we should start seeing some progress in the next few weeks with regards to her hair coming back. I never thought that I'd get such an interesting, a bit of bizarre case as I have today. And with me, your first nurse. That's true. How does it feel to take? No, I can't say that. <laughs> <laughs> your nursing virginity. <laughs> I can't wait to see her full of hair again. I bet she's gorgeous. I challenged the mites to survive oh. the white stuff. All right, lovely. I think we've doused you and bathed you enough. We're still awaiting the results of the test to see if there are any underlying conditions, but at this moment in time, I'm quite optimistic for Kylie. Bless her, normally dogs take so long to dry, but she's got no hair, so oh, she's bless dry already. You. Look at that. Say thanks, Riyaj. Thanks for day one. Bye, gorgeous. You're going <laughs> Go to sleep well, done. aren't you? <laughs> She's a little bit quirky looking at the minute, God love her. But everyone has just fallen in love with her. She's got the most expressive little face and a little tail, bald as it may be, doesn't stop wagging. And she's just stolen everyone's hearts, I think, today. Well, you'll feel better soon, I promise. You'll never forget your first sort of patient, regardless of what it is. I think I'll remember Kylie forever. All right.
right, honey. Get you some dinner. Check out you some dinner. Kylie! Well done! Look at you. Well done. Hello, Sonia. What's up? Oh my God, Hi. Kylie! <laughs> How are you? I'm good. You look incredible. Doesn't she? She's an absolute vision, isn't she? She looks fantastic. Did you recognise her? Hardly. <laughs> well, first of all, she's got hair. Mm. <laughs> it's incredible. We were really concerned about Kylie. She was covered in fleas. Her skin was so bad. She was so undernourished, so underweight. Who would let their dog turn into this? Into I mean, it's state. disgusting. She was quite a poorly little dog, and she's just come a really long way. Kylie is just loving the attention, and she deserves it. So I say, go, Kylie. Hair she's on like, the face. Look, look at me. Look at me. Her legs. Hair on the legs. Hair on the tail. Look at that. Kylie looks absolutely amazing. I can't believe this is the same dog. She looks beautiful. You look amazing. Wow. She is a princess. Oh, you are. Let you me go. have a Who's look that? at you. Hello, beautiful. How are you? Mwah. Remember Scott? I think what the irony is here is that she had fox mange, mm. and now she looks like and a fox. And you look like a fox. <laughs> Don't you? You're like little foxy. Hey? Foxy Kylie. I hope that she's just going to be as happy as she is and have a lovely life with people that will love her and look after her, give her the love that she deserves. We adore her. I think Scott's falling in love with her as well, so. Beautiful foxy Kylie. Yeah. Good girl. I'm driving out today to see Andy and Keely who run the Mayfield Alpacas Animal Park. And recently they asked me to pop up to help with their Randy meerkat, Nguvu. Now this time it's not meerkats or alpacas even that are causing the problems, but a creature much more associated with Christmas. So I just hope that I can help. Good boy. Come on, Elsa. Come on, Spenny. Come on, good boy. There you go. Good lad. Hi guys. Hiya. How, How are you doing? Hey Keely, good to see you. Yeah, you too. Hey Thank Andy, you. good to see you again. Merry Hi. Christmas. Merry Christmas. So you've dragged me all the way back up to Yorkshire for reindeer. Mm -hmm. It's Christmas. Yep. Preparations need to be made. So yep. tell me exactly what I'm doing today. And um, this is Sven, so he's our male reindeer. Um, and then we've got Elsa over there. But it's Sven that I really want you to look at today. Scott's here today to help us trim the feet of a reindeer. So our reindeer feet, they do continually grow, so sometimes they splay out and then they can crack, so Sven's feet are looking like they do need doing. He does need a Christmas pedicure, because he does have to look nice and sparkly, and right. ready for his crowd. <laughs> what an incredible festive thing to do as a vet, to trim the hooves of a reindeer. Sven's quite feisty, um, so... Yeah, he'll have his work cut out for him. <laughs> Let's just say they've got some Christmas spirit in them. Uh, we'll say that for the minimum. It looks like a pussycat. What are you talking about? Uh, yeah, yeah. I'm sure yeah, if elves can do it, good. you can do it. <laughs> if elves can do it, yeah. I can do it. There we go. Right. Kinley and Andy, you're playing it a bit cagey about how friendly or not the reindeer are. But look, it's Rudolph. What have I got to worry about? She'll keep him calmer. We'll say calmer. Yeah. <laughs> Sven and Elsa are really nice reindeers. They're Norwegian. They're coming up to two years old. Uh, they don't look very big, but they are very strong. Elsa is a little bit more nervous. She will come up and hand feed, but Sven has got a lot more fight in him. I think we should try you with Sven. Oh, He's the nice one, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> Both the reindeer have got their long lines on, so all I need you to do, all I need to do, is uh, <laughs> go up to them, stand on the long line, and then just reel them in. Okay. So I like a big fish. And as an Aussie, you should be used to that. Right, sounds that so easy. Makes sense. Yeah, no, yeah. it sounds, sounds <laughs> yeah. very easy. And your experience is uh, as a vet nurse, is that right? Yes, that's right. Like every vet nurse <laughs> I know, very good at direction? Yeah, we're very good at giving instructions. So right. that's what we are. Not bossy, just uh, yeah. 
We, we, we know what we want. <laughs> okay, yeah. good. Well, I'm ready to be instructed again. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Yeah, always. <laughs> <laughs> right. If you just come through this way. Okay. Mind the rear. <laughs> Let's go. Come on. <laughs> Oh, and they're off already. Oh my goodness. Scott, I'll give you those. Oh yeah. Thanks, mate. Scott looks a little bit nervous. Come on, Sven. But Scott's a big Aussie guy. I'm sure that he can deal with the sort of power that's behind a small reindeer. It's nothing compared to a kangaroo or a great white shark, so I'm sure that, you know, that Aussie fight can come out. Oh, so close. So close. <laughs> we usually try and step on the lead rope and then reel them in from there. Scott's method seems to be diving on the lead rope. I was so close. Honestly, I had it. <laughs> not a method that we usually use and not one I've seen before. It's comedy for us. We quite enjoy watching it. <laughs> it is way harder than I thought it was going to be. I honestly thought that it would be a really gentle walk along, hold the rope, draw them in, give them a carrot. But no, these reindeer are fast. Oh, he's got her. Well <laughs> Show off. I had mine. <laughs> I had her gloated a little bit too much, got a little bit too enthusiastic, and her lead rope snapped the actual head collar, and she got away. Yeah, see, that's what happens when you show off. Definitely the reindeer's a winner. <laughs> yeah, that made me laugh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, no, I'm not giving up now. <laughs> Just a warning, they can jump six foot as well. <laughs> oh my God. Scott's definitely getting a bit hot and sweaty and a little bit um, frustrated, I should think. Uh, he doesn't look like he's going to give up, though. <laughs> Come on, Sven. Crap, are you kidding? Oh, oh gosh. <laughs> he has contact. <laughs> oh, sh Not quite as so thick close. as an India. <laughs> I was so close. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Uh, he doesn't look like he's going to give up, though. <laughs> <laughs> Got him! Keep up, keep up, keep up, keep up. <laughs> Feel him in. Come on, mate. Oh, man. Come on, Sven. Come on. Keep nice and calm with him. Good and boy. just be careful as you get him close to you. The reindeers, they use their feet to kick and they also use their antlers to headbutt you as well. Come on, Sven. Come on now, buddy. Yeah, try and hold as close up to the head collar as possible and then keep to the side of him. Just okay, in so case. Actually, you try just... and grab his head collar? Uh, yeah. Just underneath you where the buckle is. Okay. And then you should be able to start walking okay, him. Sven. That's it. Good boy. Good Perfect. Boy. And then so you're at the side of him, both hands on the lead rope. Good boy. There yeah. we go. Let's be friends. That's it. You've done it. Oh, Good boy. Oh, oh yeah. Come on. Go. Come on. I think the adrenaline's pumping in Scott. He is doing a good job. He's doing the right movements. He's talking to the reindeer. Come on. Come on. Let's behave nicely now. Come on. I think the competition's on now to see who can hold on to who. Whoa. Come on. Wait. Hey, 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 hey. Calm down. Come on. Even though it does look a bit of a stressful experience, probably for all involved, not just the reindeer, it's something necessary that they need doing. So as the feet do get longer and they do become splayed and cracked, that can cause infection and pain as well. So we try and do it as quickly and efficiently as possible, even if it does look a bit manic. Come on. Come on, Sanders waiting. Honestly, it is like trying to dance with a big, massive reindeer. He keeps spinning me round and round in circles. He's bucking. Come on, lad. Not much further. It's an absolute nightmare. It'll just be a bit of a dance on the way up there. <laughs> yeah. 
What kind but of dance is busy, it? Are you? <laughs> Come on. It's funny to watch someone else going through that. Usually I'm the cannon fodder, but it's all practice. At least you'll have a good dancing skill at the end of it. <laughs> I'm not thinking it's ballroom, <laughs> or if it is, <laughs> it's really bad. <laughs> Now I know how Santa feels, it's so exhausting. <laughs> nearly there. Come on, mate. We're nearly at the barn, and honestly, I can't wait to let go of the halter. Wait. <laughs> Come. Oh, okay, okay. All right, do you want to back in? Hey? Can you reverse park? Hey? Okay. Whoa! Made it. I'm absolutely exhilarated to get to the point where we've finally been able to release him and let the big guy go was such a relief. You alright? Um, I've been reindeered. Rest time. Oh god, that's so exhausting. How do you do that every Christmas? That is ridiculous. So we've got him up to the bar, so we'll leave him in the stable for a while, for at least an hour or so, just so he can chill out, have something to eat, and he's not too stressed. Um, if we went in there straight away to try and do his feet, I don't think he'd allow it, because it's been a bit of an experience getting him into the barn, so now we just need to let him be for a while. It'll be worth it, Sven. Sort your feet out. Good boy. Well, I think that's overstating it. <laughs> Good boy indeed. <laughs> Reindeers are uh, feisty, plucky, uh, very powerful creatures. And yes, they're absolutely beautiful and a massive part of Christmas, but wow. I can understand why Santa gets so exhausted on Christmas day. <laughs> it's not the presents, it's the reindeer. <laughs> After that, is Sven gonna be on the naughty list? Possibly. He's a beautiful reindeer, but I think we need to spend some time apart. Yeah, see if he's a bit more relaxed about everything now. <laughs> Let's hope so. I am after that break, I can tell you. <laughs> yeah. Hello, uh, mate. He actually looks a lot happier. He does, much he calmer, like, yeah. breathing much more slowly and relaxed. That's yeah. good. Pedicure of a reindeer. Mm. I'm getting nervous <laughs> again. He looks quite happy now. But I've learned my lesson from last time. <laughs> <laughs> So what's the plan, boss? Um, what we'll do is send Andy in, if you're happy doing that. Thanks. Then Lucky just one boy. Of us in, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so if Andy can go in and uh, pin him against the wall, um, then I'll get another member of staff to hold on to him as well, so there's two of them. Uh, and then we can get going trimming feet. We'll just try and do it without sedation first. Yeah, I think, think that would be, be nice. For him. Yeah, quite a risky thing to use yeah. at the best of times. So let's try and see if we can do it without drugs, shall yeah. we, mate? Sedating reindeers can be a bit of a problem just because they seem to not need to take as much for the sedative to take effect. So we've got to be really careful not to overdose them. I am sending Andy in first. All right, fella. Shh, shh, shh. I know, I know. It does seem to like to go in there and get involved. This could potentially be quite a dangerous situation. Steady, steady. So, as always, I'm used as cannon fodder. I know, I know. We've got not only antlers. You've also got the ability for the animals to kick, not from just from the front, but from the back, and they're not like other animals. They can kick to the side, they can jump and act as they go for your face. Ah, no. It's definitely a hard task ahead. Luckily, Scott's right. on hand in order to try and uh, sedate him if we need it, but if we can do it without, that would be much better for the welfare of the animal. Just watch it back in. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, going in. That's actually a really good position. <laughs> so I'm at the front pinning Sven at the minute and we've got Nick at the back. And this point, all I'm concerned with is keeping the head down. Nick will keep his back end down and we should be safe. How you going there, Nick? Fine. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking for any sort of movements. If the animal feels that you are relaxed in any way, shape or form, he'll take advantage of that and he'll jump up. What's so incredible, Keely, straight away I see, is he got four toes. Yeah, so they were uh, like snowshoes then. Yeah, um, so what, they the sort snow. of splay out on the snow. Yeah, yeah. Amazing. So really good job. Huge. So this joint here clicks. Oh. And that click is a communication. People seem to think it's something wrong with the joints, but it's not. It's a communication between reindeer in the dark. If they can hear that click, and that click means there's another reindeer there, so it's safe, not a predator. 
Because so many people would think that it's just the hooves hitting the ground, but it's yeah. not. It's actually yeah. the ligaments yeah. in the joints. Oh, they yeah. think they've got a joint problem and they haven't. That's normal for in India. Wow. You heard it on a dog or a cat or a llama or an alpaca, you think that was something strange, yeah. but... <laughs> Learn something new every day. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so how much of this... I can feel it's very thin there. Reindeers in the natural environment will wear down their feet by walking on rocky surfaces. Oh, here we go, mate. Yeah. When they're in a paddock, of course the hooves are going to continue to grow and that's why they need trimming. It is dead keratin, so it's not going to hurt, eh? Hey? OK, mate. Happy that's with that? Up. Yeah. All right. OK. Nice, although what I'm concerned about now is I've sharpened it up quite a lot for <laughs> next time. It's got points. <laughs> yeah, it's got points. So things are going really well at the moment. The feet are being clipped without too much problems. Sven is actually behaving himself. He's been really calm, he's been really still. A lot better than I thought he would be. I don't want to jinx anything at the moment, but he's looking really good. Yeah, we're expecting him to be this good, were we? Not at all. No. <laughs> I know. Yeah, reindeer whispering is paying off, I think. <laughs> what do you think? Yeah. <laughs> Being dragged around a field by a reindeer. If that class is whispering, then I'm very good at this. Okay, so Keely, how's my first Hey, uh, That's good, that, that is reindeer. good, yeah. Look at that. <laughs> nice and smooth around, a lot shorter. Wow. Compared it was underneath. Maybe, yeah, I've, um, maybe I've missed my yeah. vocation. <laughs> <laughs> Reindeer nail clipping. <laughs> Nails by Dr. Scott. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Available only at Christmas. <laughs> All right, so that's one side of oh. our deer done. Scott's very good with Sven. I think they've had some reindeer whispering. They've done really well after the little bit of a to-do in the field. He seems to have got control of him, shown him who's boss. So he's going really well. Ready? Yep. <laughs> Try and get to a foot again. Good boy. Amazing. All right, let's get that extra toenail off you, mate. Good Don't let him fool you, though. No. <laughs> Good boy. Final foot, then we'll get you back to your girlfriend, Elsa, hey? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Come on. It's been really interesting to get to know reindeer today. I didn't know that they were as strong, as powerful, as feisty, but now I totally understand why Father Christmas chooses them to pull his sleigh. Okay, last one, and then we're done. I'm not convinced that I've got a friend for life with Sven. I think we have a healthy respect for each other, uh, but I don't know if we're going to be great mates in the future. I love Christmas, so hopefully he'll take that into account. All right, there we go. One completed reindeer pedicure. I'm pretty happy with that. Yeah, that's perfect. Really I think Sven's going to have a really good Christmas now. His toenails, they look really nice. He'll be ready to step out at Christmas, greet his crowds. Good luck, Sven. Hey, I hope that Elsa's impressed with your new footwork. And have a good Christmas. <laughs>